Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. This is Gigabyte World again. Uh, a customer brought me a MacBook Pro. It has a flashing folder and I'm going to be showing you how to resolve the flashing folder issue on a MacBook. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for it to get to the flashing folder and I'll shut it off and then I'll, I'll show you how to fix the problem it's probably one of two things you say that that the the hard drive so you see this is what is going on with this macbook uh, it will not boot all it does is you see that flashing folder on this particular model it's one of two things it says that, that the, um, the hard drive itself has gone bad and so the logic board and the hard drive are not able to communicate so there's no communication between your hardware and your software and so you end up getting the flash flashy folder it's also possible and i've seen it many times on this particular model it's also possible that the hard the flex cable that carries the data from the hard drive to the logic board has gone bad so it's either one of those two things the 90 percent of the time when i see this it's usually that the cable that carries the data has gone bad and that cable needs to be to be replaced so i'm going to open the macbook and i will first of all do the easy part i'm going to replace the the cable if that does not work, then we're gonna have to replace the, the hard drive. Okay, so I, I'm sure that um, that the hard drive is no communication between the hard drive and the and the logic board because if I insert one of these uh, flash drives has uh, software on it, if I insert the um, flash drive into the computer and press uh, I'm gonna press option so that I can boot from the flash drive if I insert this and I go to disk utility I'm not able to see any um, okay so this flash drive I just put in has a micro S Catalina on it so when I insert this I'm going to check and see if I can see the, the hard drive if I cannot see the hard drive that means that um there's a there's an issue so my first attempt at fixing this is i'm going to replace the cable if the we start to, to be able to communicate with the hard drive then the case is closed if you are still not able to communicate with the hard drive at that point then we're going to go ahead to stop step two and replace the hard drive so just give me a few more seconds so we can get to disk utility and see if in disk utility how many drives we are able to see okay so to get to disk utility you turn on the computer you press the option key and you plug in your your flash drive that has software on it and then you should be able to get to disk utility the other way to do it is using the internet recovery you turn the computer on as soon as it turns on you're going to press command option r that is if you don't have the software on a flash drive command option r connect to the internet when you connect to the internet it's going to take you to this screen so those are the two ways to do it either use the soft the software on the flash drive or use the internet recovery if you don't have the software and you can uh, you can check and see which drives are showing up okay so here we are uh, you're going to choose the second option from the bottom it says disk utility under disk utility it looks like there's only one drive that is showing and it says it's an external drive and so the only drive that is visible is the flash drive if you click right here where it says view it say show all devices There is no other drive that is showing. It's only the the flash drive that is showing. So at this point, we are sure that there's something going on with the hard drive. 
I'm going to replace the cable and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so as I was saying, I think the hard drive cable is bad. So I'm going to try and replace the hard drive cable if it works. If the computer boots then um, we don't have to go to step two, but if it does not boot with a with a different hard drive cable, then it means that the hard drive itself is bad. So all you need to do for this step is to take out take out your hard drive. I've already done that. Okay, I've taken out the hard drive, and when you get to this part, there are two screws that hold that hold your hard drive in place. You're gonna take that out right here on this side. This is where the, the hard drive feeds into and the next part there are two screws that hold the flex cable on here you're going to take those out as well these hold these little screws hold your hard drive cable in place so we'll take those out Then you're gonna be in trouble. You have to order those. Okay. So there's a little bit of adhesive under this cable, so you're gonna lift this up gently. Just pull it off. You can break it if you want, since you know that the, the cable is bad anyway. You can break it, but mm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take it out properly. And just wiggle that out. Put that on the side. Now you're going to break the new cable. Just repeat, just a reverse process of what we just did. Alright, so there are two long screws that hold this in place. So you're gonna grab those two screws you just took out, put them in, and grab the other screw and put that in. Guys, I'll be right back. Just give me a second. I gotta grab something real quick. All right, so guys, I'm back. And so I have replaced these uh, two screws right here. I'll put those back in place where they're supposed to be. And grab those little two screws here that hold the cable in place. cable right here has some adhesive on it so you're just gonna press it down make sure it sticks to the computer so just press it down all the way okay I should have tested this cable before <laughs> before I install it but I, I know it, it's a working cable so hopefully this is going to work if it doesn't work then I'm gonna Grab the hard drive that was originally in the computer here and put it back. Um, well, it helps if you connect it first. So connect the hard drive. And then uh, line it up. And put it down. And grab the other hard drive that was in here. up I just want to test this and make sure that um, with and see what's going on if the problem has been fixed if the problem has not been fixed then we're going to have to try something else so we replace the cable let's see if cable replacement uh, solves the issue all right so turn the computer on if we get an Apple logo there Apple symbol show that it's loading then we're in luck if we don't if you still get the flashing folder then we're going to have to go to step number two 
try to resolve this issue. Alright, give it a few more seconds. Uh, then I have another that cable. Let's give it another 10 seconds or so. Let's see what's going on. Sometimes it takes a while. Oh, there we go. Alright, so wow. So it looks like we won. It looks like it was just the cable that was bad. Um, like I had said uh, at the beginning of uh, the video, 90% of the time when you see this uh, issue of a flashing folder on the Mac the Pro, it's probably a bad cable. Uh, this particular model is a 13 inch, it's probably a bad cable. So if you can just order it when you get the flashing folder and you've done some troubleshooting, order yourself the cable. This cable is less than $20. Uh, order the cable and replace the cable and it should be back to business well guys that's the end of our video i hope you found this helpful if you found this helpful please like share and subscribe it's free thank you good day ta-ta